are you a cash-based physical therapist and you struggle with uh, what do I give them for a plan of care? How do I tell them that they need three to five times a week uh, to work with me? If you struggle with that question and you're looking for solutions, uh, this video is gonna be perfect for you. Uh, my name is Dr. Chris Garcia. I'm the CEO and founder of a cash-based physical therapy uh, clinic in San Diego, California. I've been doing this for over 10 years and I've mentored thousands of physical therapists. And I wanna be able to help you navigate the same problem inside your clinical practice. So, um, you know, the, the biggest reason that people struggle with delivering a plan of care is uh, you feel bad. You know that the person needs it logically. Uh, you've done the, the math. You've figured it out that you know, you've gone through their past medical history. You've gone through their movement analysis. You've gone through everything they need uh, to be successful. And the part you struggle with is now verbalizing that. <laughs> So <laughs> you, you've done an hour's worth of work and maybe even you took the phone call, you did all these other things and you know this, per this person's gonna benefit from a plan of care of six, eight, 10, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, whatever that is. And where you struggle with is actually on the delivery. Uh, you might say, uh, well, you can go you know, once a week uh, for 12 weeks. Uh, where you struggle is probably saying two, three, four times a week. And what you have to understand is um, this patient, this consumer is looking for a solution. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to provide a solution. But before you've even completed delivering the full solution, you're already uh, backtracking and giving them less than what's ideal. And the easy way to do this is first of all, understand the consumer wants an answer and you have the solution. Like let, let's make sure that that's clear. So you're the physical therapist, you can provide every aspect of that solution. You can do the manual therapy, you can do the therapeutic exercise, you can do the plan of care, you can set this person up for success. This person might have watched YouTube videos, they might have seen other providers, and now they're stuck. So now you are the person who can make a difference in their life. The barrier becomes is when you literally at the initial evaluation or follow-up session or whatever you call it, now you're at a point where, okay, great, I've I've, I'm gonna summarize everything here and I'm gonna deliver it to the patient. That's where the missing part goes wrong and this is where you mess up everything. What you have to do is you outline to any uh, patient that you see, you have to give them three options. And everyone, even inside your life, you don't realize this, but anything that you buy, you have multiple options to do this. And so for a physical therapist, uh, one, you need to provide the options. And number two, you gotta be crystal clear of what those sound like. Now, here's the worst case scenario. Here's what you, what you do. You only provide one option, which you probably are doing or you've done in the past. You say, uh, I need to see you once or twice a week for six to eight or eight to 10 weeks. Which one do you want, Mary or Joe, or whatever your name is? And that person's already confused because you gave them one option, but you gave them once or twice or six to eight, like which one is that? And you have to be very declarative in your statement. And this is the hardest part for physical therapists, especially if you're young or new inside your cash-based clinic, or you've been doing this for a long time and you still struggle, that's okay too. Um, but what you need to do is give them three options. You have a, a ideal, uh, you have a good and you have a uh, best case scenario, right? So you have to have three, whatever you want to name them. And your ideal is, you know, three times a week for the next six weeks. That's 18 visits and that's what it's going to take you. Then you can say, well, it, that middle option is going to be twice a week for eight weeks. And that's 16 sessions. Now I can do that a little bit uh, slower. It might take me a little bit more time. That's your middle option. And if you wanna do this super slow and easy, and maybe this is the pace that you want, it's one time a week for 18 weeks. Now they're all the same sessions, but ultimately it comes down to what is it that the person wants. So if you do three times a week for six weeks, you do two times a week for nine weeks, or one time a week for 18 weeks. That is a still the same amount of visits. It's now how fast does that person want to achieve this? That's the dilemma that they face. Your dilemma is not providing uh, one or five options. Your dilemma is providing your three with confidence and knowing that you can deliver on this. You have the hard time saying what you think is best and they're confused and all they want to know is what can I take home with me to make sure I'm making the best decision for myself. If you give them one, they can easily say yes or no only on one option. Now the best consumer, the best uh, educated patient is going to want to take that and, and think about it and really like is this does this really affect my life that much that I want to do it with this plan of care? 
And that's when you know you've done your job. When the person is looking at it, they're marinating over this decision and they say, you know what, I'm going to go with option number two or option number three. That plan of care is going to be a better setup for that person because they now have a choice. And if it's a cost thing, maybe one, the option one is the best. If it's I don't have the money, but I want to get this done before my race, before my wedding, before my whatever that is, they'll go with option number three. And as a physical therapist, we've never been uh, confident about those things because we've never been, been given the opportunity that typically that was the physician or the insurance company that dictated what the plan of care was going to be. And now they put that in your hands and you probably haven't worked on that very well. You've worked on your operational skills, your tactical skills of knee mobilizations and taping and manual therapy. That's what you've worked on. But anytime that you're now explaining to somebody what that plan of care is, most people think it's the dreaded plan of care conversation. You've set up everything perfectly and this is where you freeze. And I know exactly where you are. So the two things I can tell you is, Number one, give them the three options. And number two, say it with confidence. You cannot give them one to two, three to four, five to six. You have to stop doing that because people don't understand that. If it's one to two weeks, five to six weeks, one to two sessions, no, it's one session for nine weeks, it's two sessions for six, or three for 12 weeks. Whatever that may be, you have to be very declarative, make it super simple. And the easiest thing that I uh, tell all of my uh, team members and anybody that I mentor is, speak to them at a sixth grade level, not because they're not educated or they don't know what you're talking about, it's because it makes it simple and easy to do. I have a son named Zach, and I tell uh, anybody that I know I've mentored and, and have know about Zach is that I tell him, imagine talking to my son Zach, and who is uh, eight years old. Imagine talking to him and letting him know what you're talking about and how long it's gonna take. He should be able to understand that. And so if you have somebody you know at a sixth grade level, imagine talking to them. That gives that, that patient a better idea. It makes it super simple. It's not that you are speaking down to them. It's you actually made it clear for them. So when you do that, speak to them in a sixth grade level and give them three options. That will make the dreaded plan of care so much easier and effective and help you inside your clinical practice to help that person achieve what they want and get the results that they want.